March 24th. And then we're doing High Masa Captain Ahab. We're just doing this little work around here before the trail starts. Yeah, it's messed up since last time I was here. Thank you. Yeah, nice work. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. This is a lot of really technical climbing. You really gotta pick your line, put your pedals in the right position so you're not bashing them on the rocks. Almost to the top of Haimasa now. And it's as punchy as I remember it. Sun's out, the wind's not too bad. It's pretty nice out. Here's Ahab begin. The beginning, I guess is the correct word, not begin. And if memory serves, as soon as we crest this little hill, the valley opens up behind it and it is absolutely stunning. Check out that view. Isn't that amazing? Julie, yeah. <laughs> the big rocks, the cliffs, and then sandy shit in the bottom. Yeah. I was almost too slow at the top of that. That could have been bad. That's my impression of Tanya on that. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. Is that the one? Yeah. Down that boulder field. Way too deep to get going. They're pretty good with uh, marking it with the blue or blocking it off with the deadfall. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Trouble keeping my bearings here. Yeah.
Yes. a little intimidating looking. It is. It's like we were saying it's way smoother than it looks, eh? Yeah. Like you get you get onto it and think, oh fuck, I'm gonna get rattled silly. Yeah, like you look at it from here, it's like nope. This is one of my favorite sections of this trail because it flows so good. Final stretch of this Captain Ahab here. That was a good one over the bars didn't have the camera going though broke my garmin and everything 